Hello everyone and welcome back for what's going to be, what should be the final part of uh, Simon the Sorcerer, the original. Um, as I've said in all the other streams as well, this is my favourite point and click adventure, The uh, well Simon's 1 and 2 combined. Um, the third CD-ROM game I ever owned, uh, but the first CD-ROM that I uh, game that I ever actually played. So um, I'm going to bring the audio up, now hopefully I've got this audio set right. It's been a bit, um, it's been a bit funny. The uh, the connection that I'm using to uh, stream this from my phone. Um, uh, evening uh, focus. <laughs> Not like you come at the start of the stream. <laughs> but uh, let's get started. We'll load the game. The stream one is all the way at the bottom. Right. What we do is before we proceed, I'm going to nip into the village. And we're going to do a, a quick check to make sure that the voices are the right kind of level. So we can go into here and we can hear them all talking. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes here. And I say it goes here. Okay. But but I need to is, go the, to the toilet. is the voice no audio way. okay in there? It's not you too loud for everyone. Straight. Just before we continue, because the volume control on my phone is acting up uh, today a bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, those are, yeah, the audio is alright there. Yeah. So if you remember last time, we, um, well, we got the potion that's going to shrink us, but we also faced the, the witch so that we could uh, get the broom so that we can fly across here somewhere in here right use broom eight eight and i saw two eights redeemed there in the corner of my eyes <laughs> a bit too much throttle there Oh, I added, I did that the other day. Yeah, yeah. You, you get nothing. You you lose five hundred points. <laughs> now is this the right one? It has the words "drink me" on the bottle. There we go. So consume potion. Nope. Oh. Eight. Oh. <laughs> There's a little crack in the door down here. Eight. Hello, boy. How did you get in here? Really? Oh, I see. Hey, put me down, you mangy mutt. Ugh. What's that smell? Remind me to change your dog food when we get home. Eight. You've got a killer hairball here, boy. I'll get it for you. That was disgusting. <laughs> Doesn't matter where focus is, the um, the bots always uh, <laughs> always get them. <laughs> eight. You shouldn't be able to redeem the eight eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Well, if it's uh, something's gone wrong with uh, uh, Twitch, as usual. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, we'll uh, crack on with this one. Here. So we've shrunk ourselves down, and we need to get through the garden so we can get back to our normal size. Let's see what else was in here. I can't remember what was in this one that we had to do. There's a matchstick in here. I'll just pick it up. Ah, no, that was it. <laughs> What's up there? Um... 
Oh yeah, uh, <coughs> but you'd be uh, you'd be excluded from that royalty because you've got because um, because you've got the, the mod thing. It doesn't uh, it, the bot doesn't harass mod, uh, the mod level. <laughs> so we pick up the stone there as well. And go to the next bit. I think I'm in some sort of gigantic garden. Right, so what bits do we need from here? Right, so we're going to pick up the lily leaf. I'll leave it here. It's too big to pick up. The matchstick on there. And did we pick up the leaf yet? Yeah. Use the other leaf on that one. Um, right, how do we move that there? Or can we just do a walk to? I don't see the point. I've pulped them into oil. Uh, what have I missed, like? Was this Harry spamming more stuff there, is it? <laughs> um, unfortunately, because nobody's redeemed it for so long, I haven't actually prepared anything for Tales for the Coop, because it's been about eight weeks since anyone's actually done anything with it. Uh, the only thing that... I have handy is on my desktop I have some videos that we can quickly put on and uh, let's see which one's which oh what's this uh, 12 messages were deleted by moderator timed out focus for six reasons stop spam yeah he can't help himself can he he just <laughs> It's got, it's got to be the centre of attention, hasn't he? <laughs> right. Here we go. Oop, hang on, I've still got the, uh, the audio from the game. Has been doing this on my knee most of the day, sitting purring. Well, Gravy never laid a egg today. So we'll have to see if she lays one tomorrow. But she's been quite happy playing. She's been watching a bit of a telly today as well. Uh, I'm still worried about that even if um, 
Well, the, yeah, especially until I see our see next egg. So hopefully she'll lay one tomorrow and that'll uh, put my minds at ease. <laughs> Oh, net loose drugs. It's only only like a two and a half minute video from uh, this must be like last year or the year before. I love the little purring sounds. <laughs> little casserole there. <laughs> Showing us a butt. Happy little girl curled up in my arms. just did there was we got the seeds from where he's standing behind there and we used the stone to turn it into oil so then back on here we will use the oil on the tap Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every single drop of oil. <laughs> we'll fire another bullet at somebody. Uh, but now we're going to use the, the hair on the tap, if I remember right. There we go. Get the tap running. And that will have raised the water levels so that we can get to the next area. Oh, did you, did you catch up on what you missed uh, last week? Because it... Um... When the, uh, the, the Wi Fi, I was going to say that when the, the Wi Fi cut out halfway. <laughs> so we have to get past this frog now. Oh, poo. <laughs> hey, I'm alive. But where the hell am I? Hey, I'm inside the frog. Yuck. at their point and click adventure night well, next week because uh, as I said we're finishing this one today we're going to be doing or starting rather um, Broken Sword 2 I can only remember some small bits of the story in uh, in number 2 um, I can't quite I can't quite remember what where, where the sort of story goes which will be good because it'll be, be a lot more fresh because we kind of went through the first one pretty quickly I think because as we were going to different areas, I was remembering all of the puzzles. <laughs> and all the dialogue options that you had to get. Shoo, froggy. Alright, so we need a tadpole. Pick up. My hat isn't waterproofed. Uh, maybe to look at water. There's a little tadpole swimming in it. Is it the Sunday that I put Farming Simulator on? I've kind of mixed up my all my days at the minute. Because I, I, I thought I'd put Farming Simulator on Thursday. What do I have on Thursday? I actually, come to mention it. Hang on. 
Where's the schedule? Oh, I haven't done my tick marks, have I? Thursday. Oh, it is like farming simulator on Thursday. I'm doing portal on Sunday. I'm gonna totally getting my days mixed up here. <laughs> Looking at the wrong week. <laughs> yes, yeah, the the 23rd that we're doing. Um, so I've, I've got it scheduled for the Sunday. <laughs> so now we've got the tadpole. Uh, which is the combination? We're going to use the tadpole on the front, maybe. Not again. Nope. <laughs> Let me out. Are you going to give uh, four guys to go tomorrow? We'll have to see what we have to do so that we can all like uh, play in the carnage together. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, mission three on Wednesday of uh, Plum Hunters. Um, mission, uh, mission three, I've only ever seen the landing zone. Um... So I don't know if um, they like what's beyond that, because that's as far as I ever got in the game. <laughs> what if we give the tadpole to the frog? Not again. Nope. Let me out. What's the combination? Because we need to threaten the tadpole so that the frog leaves. <laughs> we be able to do this animation again. <laughs> right, is there any other points that aren't right? So it's got to be... Maybe he's consumed tadpole. That's not part of a balanced diet. <laughs> um, what's going to be the right combination? Oh, hang on. Maybe he's... There it is. Out of the way or the tadpole gets it. I guess I showed him. Bye bye, little friend. There we go. So now we can pick up the mushrooms. And then Alice in Wonderland style. <laughs> we will consume the mushrooms. And now we're back to full size. Now somewhere in here there's a stick we can pick up. Um, pick up brunch. There's no other points to where uh, to do in this bit. Open door. And that's the box I was thinking of before. Hmm. Looks like some sort of earth tremor. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know about you, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's just go back in and face it. This is another sort of like speed one before the uh, before you get chucked back out again. I hope that thing is gone. So we're going to use Twig in the chest. has been subdued <laughs> so right <clears throat> uh, let's pick up shield because we need to clean that later and uh, what else is in here that we could swipe let's have a little look around first it's long and hard with a pointy end <laughs> yep that described a spear <laughs> Oh, 
Now you can't open the door to get any of your inventory that you lost when you shrank. But we don't need any of it. They're magically and physically sealed shut. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there's anything else. I don't think we can pick up the little chest. I'd rather not touch it. Some famous hero or another ready for battle. But what's uh what's uh, uh Royal did be upset at our uh our brother by not playing Minecraft? <laughs> Ooh, I what thinking about Minecraft as well. I'm looking forward, I really hope that uh sixteen two comes out. Um this week, like you were saying on that thing, now what what date was it? Uh, for was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Or I can't remember what, what day you said now, but it's, it's this week, though, isn't it? Right, what have we got here? So we have to uh, pick up, start with a chest. So I'm fairly certain we have to crack the chest open. Also, in theory, it comes out tomorrow. And what's that? He's a, he's a man, baby. <laughs> Need to give him a clip round the ear. <laughs> Let's move this lever. And if I'm right in thinking, yeah. Use the chest. Oh, that no. doesn't work. Use the chest on the block. And then we will use the lever. Or move the lever, maybe. Here we go. Nope, maybe it's not. Pull lever, maybe? No, I've definitely got to remove lever, surely. Hmm. Open lever. It was never designed to be opened. How do we do that one then? Pick up lever, maybe? I can't pick that up. We'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> Manacles, how kinky. <laughs> What's that? Uh... Oh, for, for, a, for a bit because you didn't want to play Minecraft. Which one uh, has, has he has he seen like the the bits and bobs that you're building been building up? Yeah, I can't get me words. I've been uh, building on the server at all. I don't want them. It looks like a giant nutcracker. Which of our points have we not got? Um, look at. Whoever he was, he had an enormous nose. Oh, how do we need that skull? Uh, use spear on skull. How do I get the... F yeah, doing the animation, so we must need it. <laughs> Pick up skull. It's too big for me. I bet they don't use this for drying clothes. So, why is the lever not moving? Oh, it is now. Right, there we go. <laughs> right, pick up candles. So we've got the candle, we've got a skull. Um, we need to sort the shield out, but we need to go and visit the demons first of all. I think we've got everything that we could possibly need from down here. I think I'm in some sort of torture chamber. Manacles, how kinky. Let's go up to the next floor, and this will be Sordid's bedroom, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, that's right, we need the mouse as well, don't we? Hmm. Right, let's have a little rummage around here and see what we can pick up. We can pick up the sock. I'm going to pick up the pouch. And what was in the pouch? It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. Pick up magic wand. Is there anything else of interest in here? Right, pick up book. Let's see what the book is. Or is this his spell book? It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. Which is where we're going. <laughs> Talk to Mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, it ain't you, that's for sure. What's the matter? Never seen a talking mirror before? Uh -huh. Oh, get a grip, will you? La di da, a talking mirror. I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I can see out of any reflective surface anywhere in the world. Just name the place and you can hear and see it as if you were there. You're some kind of spying device? I prefer the term surveillance. Sordid uses me to assist him in hatching evil plots. He's a sod, though. Do you know how long it's been since I last had a good polish? He treats me like some sort of slave. I've got feelings, you know. Right, so we'll come back to him shortly. Um, open pouch, is there anything in it? It's already open. But we'll go upstairs. <laughs> mm, what do you know, Max? An intruder. Intruder? Yeah. I bet, like, he's come to deal with Sordid. Sordid? Yeah. Shall we, like, go and tell him? Tell him? Yeah. We couldn't just sit there while the boss gets, you know, done over. Done over? Yeah. Then again, we could just do our jobs and, you know, just eat the intruder like where he stands. Eat him. Yeah. Or we could just carry on with a game, just like ignore the intruder. Ignore. Yeah. Okay then. They didn't take much convincing. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no more royalty. <laughs> Not before the Wi-Fi fails again. <laughs> right, let's uh, pick up a few odds and ends in here. How rubber we'll trees books? It's just so far the Wi-Fi is behaving. <laughs> okay, that's the way out. We can't use the teleporter just yet. It's a standard teleporter. <laughs> standard tell yeah, I mean, I've got one in the garage. <laughs> I'm not going in there until I know how to work it. So what was that book that we just picked up as well? It's sordid spell book. It looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demons true names. So we have the skull, we've got the candles, we know where the mouse is, but we need to um, collect it. And we also need to get the demon's true names. Apparently it's some sort of magical metal polish. But let's have a little chat with them first, shall we? Uh, hello. Um, there's like two orc eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon. I, um, uh... thought not. I lose again, Max. Again? Yeah. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. 
tact prevents me from passing comment. What we are is uh, angry, uh, annoyed, bothered, cross, displeased, exasperated, flustered, harassed, irritable, nettled, out of humour, peeve, peaked, put out, riled, ruffled, and vexed. Uh, ain't we, Max? Irritated. Yeah. Why are you irritated? I hear you ask. I'm not really interested. I've got enough problems. It doesn't matter. I can tell you're not interested in, you know, our problems. Is he, Max? Not interested. <laughs> yeah. Dying in smokes. It's a filthy habit. You really should give up. It's all right. We've got loads, ain't we? Loads, yeah. Let's talk to them again. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? Coward, demon. I'm a powerful wizard. Oh, really? Really. Good for you. Excuse me. Yeah? I thought demons were huge red monsters that breathe fire and fly. That's down to good publicity. We are the genuine article, aren't we? Genuine? Yeah. Sordid keeps us here as slaves. Why would he want you two around? Let's just say we have our uses. He plans to rule the universe, like... Rule? Yeah. I'll blame the parents. <laughs> Slaves, yeah. <laughs> and just where do you fit into these plans? We are Sordid's personal bodyguards, jailers, gardeners, cleaners, chefs, you name it, like, we do it. We do, yeah. It's a living hell. Why don't you have a wild... Demon strike? We're already having one. It doesn't, like, keep us here to play dice, you know? To be honest, I'm not really, like, sure why he keeps us here at all. Ever since he got hold of that wand, our tasks have been rather limited. Limited, <laughs> yeah. He read about it in a children's book. It turns people to, like, stone. Stone, yeah. Which accounts for those very lifelike statues of the people that, like, tried to stop him. Those statues were once people? They still are, technically. They've just been retrained as, you know, paperweights. Paperweights, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not to worry, you're safe while he's like in the bath. Can't say for how long though. Like the retrained as paperweights. <laughs> you don't scare me. I'm on a mission from God. And Sword has probably got him on the ground floor. It doesn't matter anyway, because, like, the only way out is through the teleporter. Personally, I'm blown if I'm gonna tell you how to use it. Oh, please. No. Ah, uh, you, you, you're back in the, uh, the safe Wi-Fi zone now, uh, <laughs> Roll T. <laughs> What have I ever done to you? We're demons. We don't work for the good of the people, you know. People, yeah. What do you want? All we want, like, is a return to the pit, whence we came of, you know. Pit, yeah. All you have to do, like, is find the wizard powerful enough. There's, there's no safe Wi-Fi zone there. <laughs> Look 
no further. I, Simon the Sorcerer, will save you. Pardon my lack of confidence, oh mighty one, but like, you're hardly a wizard at all. And what makes you think I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, chemical stained, befuddled old fools. Fools. Yeah. I'll be 15 in two months and three days. I can't be bothered to, like, argue. If you are a wizard, then send us back to the pit, and in return, we'll tell you how to use the teleport. Teleport? Yeah. Well, that answers a question we had last week as to how old is he? He's 14. <laughs> right then, I'll just go and get prepared. I guess I'd better, like, pack my bags then. Bags? Yeah. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the cleaning chemical on the shield we picked up downstairs. Turn it into a reflective surface so that we can see their conversations through the mirror to get their real names. So use mirror and we stand it on this little hook. Now... Let's see, is it used the funny bag on the sock? Yeah. Let's go back downstairs because we still need to get the mouse, which is the last component. Um, where did that go in my inventory? It's Sordid's money pouch with his sock in it. So you use the pouch on the hole? Yeah, that must be right. And we caught the mouse. So next up, we're going to talk to the mirror again. Do you require my services now? What's it like being a mirror? On reflection, I'm really hung up about it. <laughs> oh, it was funny down the pub. Hilarious. Show me the lab on the top floor. There's a good chap. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. I have a fear of spiral staircases. Oh, here goes then. Why are you, like, so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grabbit? Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grab It? It's not much better than Snog Fundle, really. Suppose not. Belch Grab It and Snog Fundle? I've seen enough. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mirror. So we now have their names. So let's head on back upstairs and start putting out all the stuff. Uh, do we just go use candles on demons? Perhaps? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Right, maybe we have to talk to them again to trigger the action point. Hello again. Got it sorted then. Yeah, bear. Belt rabbit in there, it's a snog fondle, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just draw a quick magic square on the floor. Yeah, you can borrow my chalk. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work? Yeah. Hey, kiddo. Now I'll tell you how to operate the light teleport. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip, though. You can't, like, get back without the password. 
password. Yeah. And we don't like know it. Take it away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. Zabag, Zinza, Zenog, Yarmak, Zog. Onya. Looks like we're stuck. Wow, that really tingled. I hope it worked okay. We'll find out in Simon 2 that it didn't go according to plan. <laughs> so we need to destroy the, the wand. Uh, and if you remember... It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. Which is where we're going to go now. That doesn't work. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. It would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to the destination of your choice. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. I'm trying to think, Chrissy, what, what uh, they do describe when you meet up with them again in the second game, what went wrong? But off the top of my head, I can't remember what the what the thing was. <laughs> right, what have we got here? Because we're now in these fiery pits of uh, Rondo. Uh, where's the pickup option? I can't remember what we need that for. What other bits and bobs have we got here? Pick up. So we have a sapling. A fire alarm bell with a push button center. Yeah, <laughs> if uh, if you asked it to go uh, to uh, one bit, it would, it would uh, or that, or it would teleport you right into the pits. <laughs> yes. You've got to buy a ticket to go in. How much are they? One gold piece for you, Sonny. I'm no child. I'm a mighty wizard. Okay, that'll be two gold pieces then. I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago, it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Visit the fiery pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So, why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village. And the only way to get here is on foot or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years. And one was a wizard. Sordid. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fella. Swampling. <laughs> that would make the first one. Not. You have to let me in. The fate of the world depends on it. No, I don't. The fate of my job depends on it. Fine. When the world ends, on your head be it. Right.
right, so what else we got here? Oh look, there's an elastic band around them. It's a pile of very colorful brochures for the fiery pits of Rondor. See if there's any more dialogue options from before we proceed. <laughs> Changed your mind about letting me in? No, I haven't. Nope. <laughs> right, let's use the rubber band with the twig. And what we need to do is we need to set off the fire alarm so that, um, you know, all, all the sprinkler systems turn on and extinguish the fiery pits. <laughs> so use catapult. What do you want me to use it on? Oops. Use catapult on the bell. Is that how we do it? Fire! I'm out of here. Get fire in the fiery pits. <laughs> What's on the edge there? Oh yeah, we need we need the souvenir matches before we go anywhere as well. Right, let's go into the pits. <laughs> yeah, the the fires of hell put just slightly too much fire, and the <laughs> the alarms go off. So next, we're going to pick up that bucket of floor wax because we'll need that in a couple of minutes. We're in the end game now. We're going to uh, encounter Sorted in the next room. When I catch the person that set off the sprinkler system, I'll roast them alive. Now, I've got to find a way to relight this damn thing. Just when I was about to finish my new wand as well. Take the one ring, forged in the air, uh, in the fires. <laughs> that one should have worked. I seriously don't think that will be a good idea. Um, I'll try Regis Burns' fabulous pyro whizbang spell next. Where, where's the use button? There it is. Use wand on sordid. Quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Hey, slime bucket. Pasta la pizza, baby. No! That'll teach you to mess with Simon the Sorcerer. The only problem now is how to destroy the wand and save Calypso. So now, uh, where every spell didn't, um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have to add that one to the, uh, the list of phrases that we like from all the, uh, all the point-and-click games all the world. <laughs> but, uh, all of his spells didn't work, but we did have some souvenir matches, so that, that surely is enough to, to light, you know, the fires of hell. Sordid and all his magic couldn't get this thing working? And you expect me to be able to do it with a book of matches? Seems perfectly plausible. <laughs> Sign there in the fiery pits. Caution, hot lava. It's quite a good likeness. I'm quite pleased with myself. So now, you will use the magic wand on the lava. Here goes. Now all the statues return to normal. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not only have I rid the world of Sordid, but I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. I've just had a thought. Uh-oh. Well, 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 little wizard. You've made me really angry now. I 
I'm really sorry. Can we call it quits? I'm not interested in your pathetic whinging, little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly and with great suffering. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. Hello, Sordid speaking. Who? Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. Hello? Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job with the one. We've all turned back to normal. I'm coming to rescue you. Try and stall him for a bit, okay? Uh, okay. See you in a bit. Bye! What did I want? Just to tell me my life policy is cancelled. Okay then, get ready for pain such as you've never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? Uh, have you heard the one about the vicar and the mongoose? No. Have you heard the one about the butter? No. I'd better not tell you. You might spread it. Oh, ha 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 I haven't got time for jests at the moment, though. I've got far more important things to be doing. It's time for you to die. Teach that little squirt to mess with me. It's not, not as dark as the beginner's guide, though, Chrissy. <laughs> well, what do you know? Hundreds of razor sharp spikes, and I miss everyone. I wonder what happened to the bridge. Let's head on back in. We have the floor wax. Nice try, loser. You'll have to do better than that to beat me. This time, I'll make sure you die. I can go and give us the use option. Use floor wax. Sorted. <laughs> Did you manage to catch up on that one, Royalty, the beginner's guide? Who turned out the lights? Congratulations! Well done! You finished Simon the Sorcerer! Well, Simon, what does it feel like to be a hero? What's this guy on? Would you like to say something to your fans? Don't miss next year's sequel! Don't hold your breath. I'm not going through all that again. Phew, what an awful dream. I guess I must have... <laughs> Looks like I've no say about the sequel. Ah! So there's Belch Rabbit and Snob Fondle. <laughs> Come to dance for the conclusion of the game. My memories do a um, like one afternoon, do a uh, just a complete playthrough, just like in one sitting. <laughs>
Was I doing all the backflips in that royalty? <laughs> I can't remember if there's any of a scene other than them dancing. I don't know if I was just going to go into the credits in a minute, but I can't remember if there was anything else. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep it rolling anyway. <laughs> oh no, it must just be on the original CD-ROM version that goes into the credits, right? Hang on. Those are nowhere. Not at all, so we can't even play those bits. What's the tutorial? Oh, the tutorial doesn't do anything. <laughs> well, that's the end of uh, Simon the Sorcerer 1 uh, from uh, 1993, I think, when this game came out. But uh, as it next week, we're on the Monday for our point and clicks, we'll be starting on uh, Broken Sword. Um, and then once we finish Broken Sword 2, we'll then move back on to Simon the Sorcerer 2. Which uh, I just minimise out there. So we have those ones here. I am as well putting together. Um, we're going to do like a, an iOS mini games night. So we're going to play like a whole set of these like daft games. <laughs> Maybe just do my my uh, one of my favourite mobile games, uh, the RGB uh, Express. <laughs> but we'll save those for another ones. But uh, yeah, but you you are fully caught up on. Um, uh, Broken Sword, though, I think it was last week you said that you'd uh, you'd managed to catch up on the on the last part, so you had the, the conclusion to the story. Now, I'm not sure if Broken Sword is... Um, um, like the Broken Sword 2, rather, is the is like any sort of like extra edition, because you know we had those extra bits in that, that were like director's cuts in the first one, where you had... Um, all, all the stuff with where where you had control of Nico, um, I don't know if that any anything like that exists in the second one. Uh, oh, that background picture, that's a little barbecue that you can see there. Um, she's been my background. I'm trying to find a, a panel where you can see her more clearly. <laughs> all these panels are full of rubbish. Hang on, hang on. I don't know what to do. Hold that. Pretend like I'm going to move it. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know what this app is that I've got my phone on, to be honest. <laughs> but no, that's, that. that's a little barbecue there. Um, let's bring that back up there. <laughs> yeah, she was a beautiful little girl. I'll have to dig up some more videos and stuff of her for uh, if, if, if you uh, redeem any more Tales from the Coop. Because like I said, it's, it's been so long since uh, anyone's redeemed any of them that uh, I, I stopped getting the folder ready on the bottom of the screen because normally I would have the little folder of pictures ready. <laughs> and I'll have to go and check the... Uh, as well. <laughs> to see uh, where, why it let uh, more of them go through. Because it's supposed to be per stream. But it seemed like it was uh, it was doing it as if it was 8 from... Um... um uh, what do you call it? Uh, eight like, like per person or something there. Oh, you still have to. You, you're not, not going for the mumbo moustaches. <laughs> but uh, like the uh, the Scott. We'll, we'll have to. Oh, the picture's somewhere on Discord, isn't it? I'll. We'll have to like um, put it down because there was another colour that you said that you were. Uh, that there was like another one on that like stack that you said that you liked, wasn't there? But I can't remember. Offhand, I can't remember what uh, what colours it was, but uh, yeah, let, let's have a let's have a quick count and see what everyone's at. So, uh, Chrissy's at uh, almost seventy five quintillion uh, eggs. How many of you got left there, Royalty? <laughs> the the bluey green ones, and you've got uh, just over thirty six. <laughs> yeah, you have to uh, stop blowing it all on eight. And I think we've had, is it three nothings redeemed now? Because uh, Zelda and Jimmy both redeemed nothings yesterday, didn't they? <laughs> I noticed, uh, I, actually, I just noticed today on Discord as well, um, uh, Royalty, um, 
Oh, it must only show it when you're online. But you had you had the eight in the you know the little line underneath. I, I can't forget what they call it on uh, on Discord, but the little line underneath had the eights on it. <laughs> I, I only added the, uh, the the nothing button uh, at the weekend because uh, it, it was on, it must have been Friday night. Was it Friday night when we were, when we were watching the bingo? Because um, after that, I, I went, uh, I was like, I, just out of curiosity, I thought, oh, I'll see what sort of channel points he has. He's only got a couple of channel points on Mr. Weebles. Um, and, <laughs> and one of them was just nothing. I clicked on it, I was like, what's that? And it just says, lose 500 points. I was like, yeah, we're having that. <laughs> It's got to be done. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I say, I hope you enjoyed that one there. That was, um, I said, the, the Simon's 1 and 2, because I classed them as 1, um, are, are my, my, my favourite point-and-click adventures of all time. Um, also, as well, the first proper PC games, really, because uh, that was uh, back on my Windows 3.1 machine, you know, my um, 486 uh, CPU. <laughs> these are all their uh, old dos games um but awkwardly having to run them off my phone of course because i never did finish the emulator because the pc versions that you can get on steam are are, are just abominations because actually you know what we'll do we will show you how dreadful the pc versions look so you, you had the original artwork that we um uh you know that that we were saw that was original pixel art so I'm just going to quickly fire up the game for a second. And we'll just get, I'll, I'll skip all the intro so we can actually just see the world. It's all like blurry, like one of those like nasty filters on that you get on your phone. That just blurs everything, it ruins the, the pixel art nature of the game. Um, I mean his face just looks completely wrong and distorted. Nah, I'll stick with the original. Stick with the original pixel art. Oh, plus as well, whilst we're here, um, because I, I, you know, I'm interested in infecting people's minds. If 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 I've, I've had this music stuck in my head for 27 years, I don't see why you shouldn't get it stuck in your head for. <laughs> but uh, yeah, same as well. Today I've had that uh, tongue-tied record still stuck in my head from the weekend. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep sharing it out and hopefully infect everyone else's brain as well. It's just the way forward. But uh, anyway, as I said, I'm, I'm pleased you enjoyed this one. Uh, we're going to be doing Broken Sword 2 next week, and then of course we'll go on to Simon 2 after that. Then possibly Sam and Max, or we might just go on to Broken Sword 3. We'll, we'll, we'll decide closer at the time, because <laughs> it's going to be a fair ways off. Because um, it'll probably take... How long? It took four sessions, I think, to do Broken Sword 1, so I think Broken Sword 2 is shorter, so maybe three sessions? We'll see. Simon 2, Simon 2 will take quite a considerable length of time because it's a much larger game. The, the port maybe take two to three streams. The island one to two streams. When we eventually get to like Sorda's place and what have you, um, I could usually take three streams as well because it's quite a big place to go. But we'll, we'll, we'll get that when we get there. <laughs> Right, let's go and have a look and see who else we can go and harass. I know Mr. Weevil was streaming earlier. I don't know if he still is. Uh, let's see, Raid Channel. Yep, uh, Mr. Weevil is on, so shall we go and see uh, see what he's up to? Although it's not Mr. Weevil streaming, it's somebody else. <laughs> yeah, we'll hop over and see what they're doing. It says Fall Guys, but it looks like it's a just chatting stream. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not sure who this is possibly his missus maybe <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching everybody tomorrow night we'll be playing Minecraft where we're going to be messing around with the farming areas because I want to build all, all, of all those fields um, so uh, I'll see you all uh, next time there. so uh, thanks for watching have a good night and I'll see you all next time
Thank you for joining me today. If you are enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.